Good morning, everyone. It is early on a Sunday morning, and I hope you are well. What in the heck is going on? And what in the world is going on in the skies over Montana? Is there anything there? Is it all big distraction? It could be, but I have a feeling something. Something is up, and we just don't have a lot of information. Uh, we have some information I'm going to go over here. And I started to do a video late last night over this stuff, but things are changing so fast. I just wanted to wait, give it overnight, and see if there were any updates. And there, and there was. There was some update dates about it. Um, I also have a very good verse to share, so stay tuned for that and some good news. Uh, but yeah, there, there is something happening here. Now, if you recall, if, if you were not aware, yesterday afternoon, uh, there was an object uh, detected over uh, coming over into Canada, uh, around the Yukon area of Canada, northern area there and it was shot down Trudeau uh, in Canada gave the order uh, United that the story is United States uh, fighter jets I think it was an f-22 shot this device down now they said this device was or object was uh, similar to what they shot down over Alaska uh, earlier in the week or uh, a few days ago that it was a cylinder shaped object about the size of a small car again so that's interesting so that's very different from what they shot down last week over south carolina the chinese balloon so is this are these objects chinese russian are they man-made are they ours and we don't know for sure we do have a little more information here i'm going to go over but uh, so again, after the the, sh the shoot down of the object in Canada, a few hours later, yesterday evening, news started coming out about the FAA closing airspace uh, in Montana, northern Montana, near the Canadian border, and that they had spotted another object, unidentified object. Now, my first question was, you know, did you? Did they identify this or, or track this before it got over us again, before it got over the United States again, or even Canada? And uh, we don't know for sure, but they were tracking this thing. And apparently it's just the way it's described, it's just hanging out over Montana. Now, as we know, we talked about before, we have defense capabilities. We have missile silos all in that area. Uh, our defensive missiles. So uh, they said that they were stopping commercial air traffic. Uh, and this was yesterday, late in the afternoon, early evening. And they sent uh, fighter jets out there to check it out, uh, but they could not find anything. They could not find uh, what was uh, being talked about on on uh, on the sensors on the on the radar. So then they reopened uh, the airspace. This was last night, kind of late. So they said that NORAD was going to keep monitoring this situation. And uh, now they weren't saying it was a spy balloon. They weren't saying it belonged to anybody in particular, like China, Russia, whatever. Uh, they just were saying it's an unidentified object. Now, to me, that's a UFO. That's an unidentified flying object. We don't know what that is. Maybe they have a lot more information. They're just not sharing with us. That's very possible. But it's interesting that they're saying um, the last two things they shot down were cylinder shaped and the size of a small car. So how is that flying? Was it a missile? Missiles don't just hover around and hang out. You know, how, you know, what's the propulsion? How is it powered? Is it being guided? So what in the world, what in the world is happening there? Now, some other information uh, I am seeing, I saw a report, now I'm looking at the Daily Mail, I'm looking at uh, a lot of different op a lot of different um, news sources, not just United States, not just mainstream news, but um, uh, now they say they're going to wait till morning, till daylight to see, to check out, uh, to see if they can, the fighter jets can, can see what's going on over Montana. 
And now, and I did see a report where some the fighter jet pilots or some pilots were saying, you know, the ones that were involved in the Alaska takedown were saying that uh, this object was uh, was affecting, was interfering with its sensors. That's interesting. And this morning, now when I first got up, uh, they're saying that something is still over Montana, that they're still monitoring something. And with daylight, they're gonna try to figure out, get eyes on it, so to speak, and try to possibly shoot it down. So again, it's like, so we have a little more information, but uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what else they say if they, now, and then I, right before I started recording this video, there was a report out of China saying that they're monitoring uh, an unidentified object over part of its, around its coastal area. I forgot the exact location, but. So uh, interesting times for sure. Uh, is it Russian? Is it Chinese? You know, share your thoughts. What is this? Is it anything at all? Something's going on in my in my opinion. Now, if you're saying this is all a big distraction, I get that too. I I, I can I, I I understand that point of view. I really do. Personally, I think something is going on. We're just not getting enough information to make it to make sense. Uh, that's my my view. Uh, is it Russian? Like I said, Chinese? Is it is it just something else that you know it's unidentified? It does to me feel like we're being set up for something, uh, you know, especially if it's man-made, especially if it's Chinese, it could, it could be Russian too. We're right there, you know, Alaska, all that's close together. Uh, it feels like we're being set up for something, like we're being conditioned for something big to come or war. Um, stay aware, you know, and I was thinking about this last night and then just this feeling came over me that we need to, you know, and I, you know, we, we mentioned this, but stay aware, keep your tanks full, keep your uh, gasoline tanks full, keep your devices charged up. Uh, something, I just, something tells me, you know, we, we need to keep thinking about power outages and not just for a few hours, it could go a while. Um, these smaller objects or, or, or even the balloon thing, uh, my my big concern is an EMP electromagnetic pulse that could that wouldn't do damage physically, but it would or, you know like it wouldn't destroy buildings, but that would fry electronics, you know, including commercial airliners in flight, you know. So uh, that would be you know if, if 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 somebody was able to detonate an EMP over the continental United States, North America, and were successful in doing that. You would, you would see a situation where we have no electricity over a large area, possibly the whole country. I, I'm not as knowledgeable on that, but, uh, you know, a large area for a long time, okay? That would be catastrophic for sure. So, uh, like I said, stay aware, keep your devices, keep your electronics charged up, tanks full, fueled. Um, oil lamps, oil lamps are great. We're a big believer in that here. Um, of course, your provisions, your water. Uh, keep some cash out. Keep the powder dry, so to speak. It's frustrating to be kept in the dark about details. We we want to know as humans. We want to know what's going on. We want to know the details, and so that is frustrating. I get it. Um, when we don't have details, we tend to to um, to formulate the answers ourselves. That's natural. I get it. Um, so a lot of unknowns still, uh, but can you imagine, and I, if, if you start seeing this increase a lot and start in having people see these things, you know, people could panic, you know, you could see runs on the stores, you could see runs on the banks, if this proliferates, so to speak. So I know one thing, the good news is God is still on the throne. We know this for sure. I don't care what they find. I don't care if green men get out of a vehicle. He made them too, if that's the case. You know, the Lord is Lord, King of Kings. Always will be. I have, that send, That sends me into the verse and, uh, and some good news right after that. Uh, I'll share, mention, but uh, 
Psalm chapter five, verse three says, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. Amen. The Lord is always there. This never changes. This doesn't change with the times, with news, with culture, whatever you want to call it, no matter what. Uh, and praise the Lord. I mean, have you seen what's going on or heard about what's going on with the big revival in um, in Kentucky, Asbury University? Apparently, they had this uh, service uh, earlier in the week, about midweek or so. I, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember exactly. But it's like it never stopped. It stopped. It may have, I think it winded down, but then it just recharged back up. Students came in, and now people are coming in from all over the place. Um, there are videos out all over the place about it. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet, or just search Asbury Revival or Revival in Kentucky. It'll come up. But um, it's still going on from what I understand. Let's pray it continues and spreads. Apparently, I've heard some things that it is spreading. So Lord knows we need a revival in this country. I mean, we need it so bad. Uh, but uh, let's keep in prayer uh, for that and stay stay uh, aware. Keep your eyes. Look up in the sky when you can. Uh, you know, if, you report, if you see something, let us know. It's going to be rainy and cloudy here today. But anyway, I've droned on enough. Uh, appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. God bless you. I'll see you soon.